Hello! I have a friend who has cystic fibrosis. His name is Greg Allen. I did a video with him a bit ago. Through him, I met a few other people in hospital that I became friends with. For example, James. And a lot of them are waiting for a lung transplant. In the UK, you have an uh, opt-in. So you have to basically sign up to be an organ donor. You get this lovely card and say, I am a donor. I was thinking, why do people not want to donate organs? I'm impassionated by this topic. So you see, I'm getting really... Because I don't understand... Finish your sentences. Ugh. Yeah, I'm impassionated. Passionated. Impassionated. Mm. It upsets me. It upsets me a lot because it's really easy to do. You don't have to do anything. You just sign up. You don't have to cut out your heart or your lung and say like, yes, I'm an organ donor. You don't. Some people actually, they are actually scared to sign up for an organ donation. Some don't do it for religious reasons, but I'm not religious, so I can't comment on that because that's, I'm, yeah. Tolerant. Alice is very tolerant and doesn't say anything here. Around 3,500 transplants are carried out annually. 3,500. But 6,500 need to transplant. I don't say sign up and kill yourself. I don't say that. Don't do that. Not good. Just sign up and if you get killed. <laughs> it doesn't sound better, does it? How do I get out of this here now? You can save eight people's lives. Even nine people if you split the liver. My liver is so big, you can probably save 20 people with it. <laughs> Some people say, no, 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 we are against organ donation because, and here, this is a quote that somebody said, I don't want to be seen as good stock for organs. But you are good stock for organs if you lived healthy. That's just a matter of fact. If you die with a healthy heart, what the fuck do you do with the heart? God gives you a new heart. You are with God then. Oh, whoever. If I was a doctor and I had made friends with little eight-year-old Tommy, little eight, Timmy, sorry, Timmy, it was Timmy, who needs a new heart, I would be tempted to let somebody die to retrieve a new heart for him. And then this person said, having that in mind, I would not trust doctors to put 100% effort to be saving me. That is murder. If a doctor decides to do that, it's wrong. It's morally wrong. What if a doctor likes sadism and puts you on this in the theater in the surgery room and doesn't give you anesthesia because this doctor just likes to punish you or, or sad, 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 sadize you? Sad, what do you say? Sadism. But this is morally wrong. If somebody does that, this person should be put in jail anyway. And this person probably does other bad things as well. So maybe this person would kill you anyway. In Austria, it's opposite. You have to sign up if you don't want to be an organ donor. This system works. In Austria, it's not that doctors don't treat you because they think, ah, oh, eight-year-old Timmy needs a heart. It's not a thing. Other countries work like this. We are not corruptive, morally incorrect people. Wow. That is the most fear of people, actually, organ donation, that people take advantage and don't treat them well enough. Honestly, if I was a doctor and I saw you opted out of organ donation, I would not treat you nice either. Thank God I'm not a doctor. Some people think the body is sacred. Sacred? Secret? Sacred? Holy? <laughs> they want to take their organs with them. Watch some YouTube videos of what happens with your body after you're dead. So you can either choose if worms eat your body or if you save other people's life and they have a nicer life and they can live actually. Do spiders eat organs? Probably they do. Probably they crawl into your lung when you're molding and they lay little spider eggs in there and then then you have like a spider web in your lung. Oh I would rather give my lung to somebody else than having spider webs in my lung. As you probably can see I have a strong opinion on organ donation and I would love if I can inspire some people to sign up Today, it takes two minutes. It takes actually one minute and 10 seconds if you know your address and your name and your date of birth. That's all you need to know. If you hit a time under one minute and 10 seconds to sign up for organ donation, I will send you a prize. That is my promise. Do you do that? I don't know. We did that as children. Lick two fingers. 
where did we get that from? Thank you for listening to my impassioned talk about organ donations. There is a new video every Wednesday from now on. Instead of liking or subscribing to my video, just use the minute and sign up for organ donation. See you soon. Bye.